But Marcus Renerson and David Moskowitz have yet another reason to be here. They traveled all the way from Seattle just to follow animal tracks. There's a great fox coming through here. It turns out that the Oregon dunes are one of the best places on earth to practice the art and skill of wildlife tracking. Porcupine through here. Even though at first glance you may not think that there's diversity out in this landscape, there's so many different species out here. We found tracks of shrews, deer mice, voles, chipmunks, red squirrels, gray squirrels, long-tailed weasels, mink, porcupines, gray fox, red fox, coyotes, bears, deer, elk. I'm sure I'm missing a couple in there somewhere. You might be asking, okay, where's all this wildlife then? Well, Marcus and David aren't so concerned with actually seeing the animals. One of the jokes that we have when we're tracking is we come across an animal, we're like, okay, get out of here so we can go see your tracks now. It's like putting together a mystery. Here we've got two trails of porcupine coming across the dunes here, and you can see their tracks kind of weave in and out. And so you can imagine if the animal was standing here, it had its face here and it was feeding. You can see there's a couple of little stalks right here. All the leaves have been taken off where the porcupine probably fed on it. David and Marcus have found a way to learn about wildlife that most people don't even realize exists out here. It's pretty unlikely that an animal that big would have its feet on the ground here. And they're passing that knowledge on to students of the Wilderness Awareness School, who quickly find that the sand keeps a record of everything. I'm actually overwhelmed. Um, I've done trekking for three years, and I have never been out here. And um, I'm just, we've walked not even 10 minutes, and it's absolutely um, overwhelming. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. These tracks are from insect larvae. These, they were made by a daddy long leg. You can kind of see these faint lines in here. On dunes like these, nothing can move without leaving its mark. I think we're so used to just believing that we're the only ones around. We kind of forget about the fact that the planet is full of other creatures. When you start tracking, you realize, oh, just last night or a couple of hours ago, this place was busy with like tons and tons of different creatures running all around it. And you're just completely immersed in their world as well as your own. It pulls you into a different way of looking at the world. And as soon as you do that, you can't go back. These people came to the dunes to leave the hustle and bustle of life behind, to reconnect with their more primal selves. In the Oregon dunes, that's not hard to do. We have no shortage of noise and intensity in our world. So to be able to come find a place like this that's quiet, where there's possibility for people to just sit is a rare gem. Many people say the Oregon dunes are unlike any other place they've ever seen. That's because there's very few places like it.